Welcome to Scientists with Beard. Alright, so this is a fourth episode of Scientists with Beard. Before I start talking, a beard fact. Now, this is a weird fact because okay. how we have gold chains in today, you know, yeah. hip hop musicians, they have, yo, yo, gold chain, like Drake and people like that. In the ancient time, there were gold beads in the beard in the Egyptian time. So, the more powerful for decoration. you are, for decoration, they would decorate the beard and men would dye their beard, color their beard, dye gold. Dye their beard is kill them. No, <laughs> D-Y-E dye. It is like you have to color your beard golden and some people would put false metals also in the beard. Wow. And even queens, kings and royal animals like cows. Queens also put yes. Queens also have no, 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 no. So they would love to put golden, golden all the way, but the beard would be very well decorated. So now, in all earnestness, any royal message, the king will attach three beard hair to the wax seal. So there's a seal, the seal of the king, and he would attach three of his beard hair. Wow. So this is a weird, weird fact, I told you. But today, my scientist is a special scientist. Someone who has taught us about how we came across. Oh, how Charles to, Darwin. Uh, yes, can it be louder? Charles Darwin. Yes, Charles Darwin. And he wrote a book called Origin of Species. You know, Charles Darwin was very curious, inquisitive from his childhood age. But when he grew up, he sailed in a boat called HMS Beagle. And he went to a group of islands called Galapagos Island. Uh, Galapagos are in the West Indies, that area, and he studies canary birds, turtles, he studied so many animals, reptiles, frogs, and he said, look, we have come from water, and he gave the entire origin of species, you know, it's very controversial, some people say theory of evolution is not right, it's fake, but to me, he gave us a scientific way how we have evolved, you know, first the Neanderthal man, the Homopithecus, the Australiopithecus, the Homo sapien today. So, this Homo sapien, 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 and sapien. who knows, the Homo sapien will become into artificial intelligence and we all will become robots in the future. We'll go to God in that. Time. All right. So now, Charles Darwin, you know, he was photographed for the first time when he was 72 years old. And that time he had a lovely, rich, wide flowing beard. He almost looked like Santa Claus. Isn't it? Charles Darwin. And Charles Darwin gave a lovely theory called the survival of the fittest. What do you mean by survival of the fittest? You know, the youngest one shouts the loudest. Does it happen in our family? The yes. youngest, yeah? She wants all the attention. She wants all the space. If you don't cry zingy, you will not get attention because you are the third. Would you? Oh, I love you so much. The theory of survival says that the animals also fight. And one example is the giraffes. They say... The first, the giraffes had short necks and then because the leaves were on top and no other animal was reaching it, the giraffe stretched and stretched and stretched and the necks became long. It's a, it's a theory again, the, like the Brachiosaurus or like from the, which is a dinosaur which looks like a rhino? Uh, Triceraptor. And no, is that something like that which is looking yeah, like a rhino? The horned one. So that's what Darwin has told us. A lot of myths have come in. We came from ape man according to him. Maybe a King Kong like huge human as some biblical stories say. But at the end, we love Charles Darwin for his lovely beard. White Santa Claus is what we call him. That's all we have in a beard story. Thank you and good night. Bye-bye.